Hello everyone, this is Gazelm with Jason and, and the Boys. And Kevbot. And Jason. And we are here with another Warframe video showing you how to get murmurs in Warframe. So the reason why you need murmurs is to do a Kubo Witch. And important things to remember is that um, you want to do longer missions, especially when you're farming murmurs. So like, if you're doing stuff on Earth, you just look for a defense mission. Mobile defense are, you know, they're all right because they're a little bit longer. But ultimately, a uh, defense mission like uh, with, and where's the other one? Is that the uh, Koba? Yeah, this defense, this defense on Earth, very good. Um, especially early on when you get a lich, you want to get as many murmurs as you can because the more murmurs you get um, will mean you'll know more of what your Parazon needs to attack your Lich, basically. So you'll have these different mods. Um, if you don't have them, don't worry, you can always farm them up by doing Requiem Fissures. Um, we'll probably make another video about that sometime. Um, but basically, you'll just want to um, put random stuff to start out on. You don't want duplicates. And if you have an Owl, it's like a wild card, you want to put that in the last slot. That'll help you get the right combination a little bit faster. So, yeah, the um, more murmurs you get, the more you will know about what mods you'll need to put on your Parazons. That's why we're modding them. Right now, I don't know any of them, so that's why we're doing this murmur farm. Okay, well so let us go, and we'll enter defense and go more over that. Okay, we'll do this defense here with, and you want to make sure you select the Kuva controlled one, otherwise you won't get any murmurs, and your witch will certainly not spawn. I mean, you could also do it with someone who has murmurs at that planet, and you'll still get murmurs. That's true, you can always be in the squad with someone who does have a witch who's doing one of these missions, and that does help you. And sometimes you can cheese it where if you have friends that you're doing murmurs with, you can go to their planets where your witch isn't on that planet, but theirs is. And theirs will still spawn murmurs, so you can still get murmurs from those without having the risk of failing um, parazoning your witch. Okay, so we just got a murmur spawned over there. So we'll go ahead and shoot him down and then parazon him like so. You just walk up to him, press X after you attack him. That'll take him oh, out. Yeah. So we see that little circle bar that popped up. Uh, that is the murmur bar. It's basically like, it shows your progress towards um, how far you have until you know one of your mods. There we go. Okay, so I'll go ahead and pairs on another guy. And you'll see that, that bar. Aha, totally uh -huh, got him. <laughs> so you'll see that bar <laughs> fill up just a little more. Okay, there we go. And so once that bar is completely full, we'll know our first mod. We won't know the order, but at least we'll have some clue of what we can do with trial and error. Because uh, every time you fail, it's really, really bad. Because your Lich will level up and get more powerful. And if you have a level 5 Lich, it'll be really hard to defeat him. They are nasty. They are really nasty. I've had to go against a few, and they're not fun at all. Got him. Remember how much All right. Oh, it's my person, Gray. Right, so we got a witch coming in. We don't have to take her down. If you, if you don't take her down, it'll let you uh, get more murmurs while they're alive. Although, if you're not farming Murmurs and you just want to get rid of your Lich, um, all you have to do is do a bunch of damage to them, and then not Parazon them, and then you can just like let them leave. But if you do want them to either level up, or if you want them to... Um, oh, whoops, I almost shot it. Uh, if, if you want them to um, test your Parazon, then you can damage them, take down their shields, take down their health, do the pairs on. 
if the order is wrong or your mods are wrong, then you'll see that it'll fail and they'll level up. So, I usually like to wait to do the pairs on them um, until I know at least one of the mods, or or until I know one or two of them. That way I can see the order of it. Yep, some murmurs are just all over the place right now. Yep. Alright, so my guy's gone. He got all sad that I didn't pay any attention to him, so mm. he's gone. Hopefully he'll... my guy doesn't come. Yeah, he'll be back later, though. I'm surprised he's come on, like, the second mission, because usually it takes him uh, a few missions on that planet to get angry. They're just really mad how good we're doing. Yeah, right. Another thing to notice is if... Um, you are doing missions that have already been completed on that planet. If I, if we've already done Lith defense, if we were to go back to Lith, um, we wouldn't get our Lich any angrier at us from doing that mission a second time. So if you want him to get angrier, you have to do different missions that are shown on your map as like the red zone. So you can just go back and play the same mission again. They shouldn't get any angrier. Yeah, they won't get any angry. They still have a chance of showing up, though, right? Yeah, so um... You won't have to yeah, they still, yeah, they still have a, I think they still have a chance of showing up, but, yeah, they won't be any angrier, as far as... Yeah. Meaning they won't have more chance of showing up. Yeah, they won't increase in chance of showing up. This one time, I was doing, like, the... I kept on joining different squads, and they kept on choosing the big, long defense that I've already done, and I was waiting and waiting and waiting for my Lich to come out, and it never did, because it wasn't angry at all from me doing the same mission every time. Alright, so now we need to do other long missions. Um, interception is not bad, because um, it's a little longer. Mobile defense is also really good. I like mobile defense a lot, so maybe we'll do that one. Yeah, and when you're farming murmurs, it's usually good to allow people to get closer to the Lich, and that will allow them to become those larvelings, or those murmurs, not larvelings. It's like these guys, they were both pretty close to the lich, and so they were both able to become murmurs. Foss. Loke mm -hmm. for me. I got Vom. Okay, so we just barely learned our first word of power, our first Parazon mod to use. So... Mine was Vom, so I need to put a Vom on. And I like to do the one that I just found out in the first unknown slot. So I don't know any of my order, and I only know one mod, so I'm going to try out Vom just to see if it's in that first slot. So let's see, I don't have any used Vom. So use a full Vom. So when you down your Witch, you get to down him three times, and it's kind of like in stages. First you'll... Um, do, do a bunch of damage to him, then you'll run up to him, pairs on him, and we'll try the first mod on him. Then the second time, you'll do a bunch of damage. Um, if the Vom has worked, this first slot, then you, he'll get back up and you'll be able to fight him again, and down him again. And then you'll get to pairs on him again and attack him with Foss. And if that one works, then you'll do the last one. And if you get the last one right, then you basically beat your Witch. But, um, of course, a lot of times it won't work. Most of the time it actually won't. So you want to make sure you know which mod you're going with. And then you just like trial and error, experiment which, uh, with uh, which one works in which position. So I know Vom, so I'm just going to throw that right there in the first slot to test it out and see if it's there. Or maybe it's here or here. I don't know, but we'll see. I just realized I might meet my Lich and I kind of want to give Psycho. it a shot. Yep. So I'm putting on my big boy guns. Yeah, I'm going to get mine next time I meet him. Now that I know one of my mods, so I'll try one of them out. Yeah, if you really don't want your Lich to level up, you could wait till you know what all three mods are. And then, you know, it probably won't get above level two, or if you're really unlucky, it'll become level three. But, um, I think you'll be good. Especially if you have an Owl, then you have really good chances of getting him. Okay, maybe let's do this Interception. I bet we can get a couple of our Liches to attack. Okay, so we've done a lot of missions on Earth. 
And if you open up your witch menu, you can see how angry they are. The more missions you do on the planet, the more territory you take back, the angrier they be. So mine's furious right now. So he should show up pretty soon. Oh, that's my guy. He loves showing up. He really does. <laughs> You're going down, son. Sorry, man. Okay, now that I know one of my mods, I think I'm ready to just like try to take him down. Oh, so, wow. oh boy, oh boy. Okay, can someone else survive J Boy? Okay, so Volm didn't work. So he's gonna level up now. He's gonna go to the next planet and he's gonna be more difficult to kill. Alright, I gotta swap my pairs on mods because mine is wrong. Was yours right, J Boy? I got the first one right, yeah. Oh, nice, that's good. Okay, Netra. Oh, I don't have Netra. this one. So, Jin got lucky, his first one worked. Um, my did not, so um, now I know I have Vom and Netra though from all the murmurs we've gotten. So let me put Netra on, and since Vom did not work in that first slot, I'll go ahead and swap those around. We'll try Netra first, then Vom, and then I got my wild card at the end. So theoretically, I could get him this time if the order is correct. Jason and I's witches have already come, so. Ours have moved on to the next planet, which is Mars, and our witches have also leveled up. So, more difficult mission slightly. Uh, now it's 50 to 60 leveled, so a little bit harder. Your witch is also going to be harder to kill. But Kevo's is still on Earth since his witch hasn't showed up yet. So, we're going to keep doing murmurs on Earth since we can still get murmurs there. Um, our witches won't get angrier though since Jason and my witches are on Mars. Um, so we won't be seeing our witches, but we might still see Kevo's. Hopefully we'll see mine. Yeah, hopefully. It should be really mad by now. I don't like it. <laughs> Not fun to fight. Yes! That's sure. Oh, wait, you got her on the first try? Yep. Oh my goodness. Because this last one I have Owl in my last spot. You just destroyed a massive batch of Grenier toxins. That's how you do it right, guys. Dang. That's how you get lucky. So you get crazy lucky on Earth. And we just want to do all the fast missions again, just to make him angry. Now that I've got all my mods lined up, we just want to get him done. You know what? Why don't I bring my Arkham Ultimatum, actually? Can we cancel? Yeah. Okay. Bring my Arkham Ultimatum. So, if you're ever at a point where you just want to summon your guy super, super quickly, you can just equip a Requiem Ultimatum and will force your guy to come out all at once. So, don't believe I have one equipped. Where do you so, find those? Um, you have a 33% chance of having them drop from a witch when you kill them. Unfortunately, I've used all my ultimatums, so I don't have any right now because I do love using them. Save so much hassle, so I'm all out, sadly. But oh, if I did have it, you just equip it in your um, equipment, tools, and you just deploy it and it will instantly summon your witch to come out. But for now, we have to do the grind, which kind of stinks. Alright. Zata. So I know my last mod. So now that I know that, there's no reason for uh, me to keep Owl in the last slot, or in this middle slot, because I know that Netra is first, Vom is last, and that must make Zeta in the middle. So let's go ahead and throw one of these on there. And we'll be golden. We don't even need to use our wild card. Hey, there he is. Gonna, as all the other eggs must show up too. I'm just staying in the air, staying in the air. There we go. Keep stuff there. Alright, he's almost there. There we go. Oh, crap, crap. I can taste my spleen. Is that what he said? Alright, you guys work on the tower, I can finish him. Okay, he's down.
right, there we go. We got him, easy peasy. So now all we gotta do is actually face him, which we'll save for another video, but basically, if you have a real jack, you just go out to the Saturn, and you go ahead and confront him there. I'd recommend getting a good squad with you. If not, there's probably a squad that will get with you either way. Um, depending on what level they are, it might be harder or easier, but usually there'll be some pretty good players that you can get matched with, and uh, you'll uh, usually not have any troubles with that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, everybody. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it and subscribe to the channel. Anyways, we will catch you in the next one. Boy!